Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we are doing uh, core abs and weights, upper body weights class for foot and leg and ankle and so forth injury. Whenever you cannot use your leg, you can use this class, of course you can use this class in general if it's your leg day, rest, leg rest day you can join me for this class. This class is dedicated to my friend uh, Leia. She's a long time student, now friend, neighbor, and unfortunately she um, uh, had her foot fractured in Jiu Jitsu. So she's healing, sent her some positive vibes and I decided to do a class for her. And after that, I'll go to her house. <laughs> so, um, for this class you're going to need a chair because we're not going to stand around obviously and if you if you have one good foot you can sometimes do some certain planks and things with it and also you can do certain exercises with the good foot once you have mobility in the foot that is not good you can start doing gentle stuff dance like stuff uh, start to bring back mobility whenever the time is right but because um, when you work on something on one side of the body, uh, you don't become lopsided per se, unless it's really repetitive over years and years and years. Uh, but when we work on something with one side of the body, we, that translates to the other side of the body as well. So you could do certain things only on one side, just don't overdo it, that's one thing. Uh, to remember a uh, certain uh, later on in the healing process once uh, once the major for sure once the swelling is gone and once things are starting to mend things that feel good feel comfortable within the joint or the or the uh, wherever the injury is you can do certain fluid moves certain mobility things so that you br start the healing process also through movement later on that is so um yeah you're on, only gonna need uh, these two things in, in a mat modify things that you need to modify of course everybody has a different situation and uh, we'll begin and we'll flow with strength and ease and we're going to get started seated you can prepare now or for later your um, weights you can do very light weights as well one other thing i want to remind you is uh, during an injury um, definitely uh, exercise and move and make yourself feel good and breathe and stretch and all of that but also don't overdo it you don't have to uh, hit massive athletic performance uh, especially during the first stage of uh, an injury uh, so that your body really focuses not on repairing your uh, worked out muscles but more so repairing the bone or the um, soft tissue that is damaged so definitely work out, definitely don't overdo it. All right, now we're gonna start with a breathing exercise. Let's roll the shoulders backwards, to bring mobility into the upper body. Nice deep inhalations, followed by complete exhalations. And side to side um, elongating stretches. So you're really going to elongate here as if you're stretching out your obliques opposite side. One more time. Turn the palm of the hand down. Turn your back elbow in if it's on the um, chair so that you free the space here. And the extended arm is going to turn down towards the floor. You can look up change. You're going to feel elongation through the body. Hands on the knees and we're going to go for a stomach vacuum. So as you exhale, you're going to hollow the belly, Mula Bandha. The Bandhas will help, help with healing. In general, breathing will help with healing. As you exhale, lock out the air. Mm. 
One more. As you breathe, especially the inhalations, imagine, visualize wherever the injury is, blood rushing there, light moving in there, energy moving through there, circulation moving through there and regenerating the tissue, the bone. As you can see, um, I'm engaging all the three, or at least you can see I'm engaging Jalandara Banda as well. So um, uh, we're working on all three bandas, three locks, um, where um, energy is um, sealed and therefore generated. We're also able to generate energy and circulate it through the body. Uh, also tap into energy of course and from here we are going to inhale and open and exhale round the body you can use your uh, even your knees to just use them as a leverage inhale open exhale round very fluid inhale open exhale round bring out your inner dancer whenever we have an injury we get a little bit kind of stiff more uh, less less fluid so bring fluidity move that fluidity feel it moving through the body through the foot through the leg through the ankle great twist time left hand to the right knee you can use the right hand behind you to grab however your chair works look over the right shoulder this is a really in a way better twist than the floor twist because it really gets you to adjust the spine opposite side elongate and then twist feel it moving through the body through the spine the twist the release face forward this time we're gonna reach up elongate and twist deepen it and change and a little more breathing now I hope you're feeling a lot of flow through the body, through the spine and we are going to do rapid breath, Wim Hof style, so sit comfortably and whenever you're done with the rapid breath, 30 to 100 <sighs> uh, breaths, then you're gonna hold the breath, you're gonna take a breath in, release some of it and hold it. Mm, you can hold it for 20 seconds you can hold it for two minutes so if you can hold it longer hold it longer I tend to hold it shorter when I'm coming off of uh, talking uh, for the classes but it doesn't matter it's just uh, really focus on your breath right now and uh, let's go with the rapid breath then hold your breath for a period of time
Now we'll move on, but if you have time, pause the video and do two more rounds of uh, breathing holding. And here we are going to extend one of the legs in front and lean forward hamstring stretch. Elongate the spine change. You can take a bit of a warrior two here with obviously the chair uh, just to get the stretch and let's take the right knee forward left leg behind him warrior to alignment elongate i really want to stretch you out and change uh, you are gonna adjust your uh, foot in question however it's comfortable just bring some stretching here in the hamstrings inner thighs area <sighs> a bit of a plie or a wide squat side to side reach And we're going to do circles here with the arms as if you're drawing big circles backwards big circle forward and get yourself down onto all fours take your time no rush if you're behind me on certain things just take your time move safely onto all fours i'm holding onto the dumbbells just because i have them you can use the floor and here we're going to pull the belly in round arch just a few more of those i want to bring a lot of mobility in the spine during a period of healing, it's good to really, really work on that. The nervous system. And we're going to take the right leg up and do a few um, leg lifts, squeezing the body. One, two, three. There's no reason why your body shouldn't look good during healing. <laughs> You can keep things, keep the muscles well maintained during an injury. We're not gonna build anything massive. As I said, it's better to keep the body working on the injury itself. Opposite side. If it's uncomfortable, any of these things, at any stage of your healing, just skip it. For example, if this bothers your ankle or your foot, skip it. For foot, it's a little less likely to bother you, but if the boot is not comfortable, if you can't move uh, for certain things, skip it. This is not gonna work for everybody, 100%, but it will work well for um, uh, lower body injuries. All right, opposite side. Change. Plank on the knees. Really pull. Now here, isometric contractions will be very important for the period of healing since you're not gonna be jumping or doing any of that pull the belly towards the midline all the muscles 
all the energy essentially Mulabanda. excellent let's start with holding your dumbbells on the knees now if you uh, because obviously this is a little more knees using your poses on the knees than usual you can use um, a blanket padding uh, double pat your mat etc so it doesn't bother your knees over time grab your dumbbells and we're gonna lift and extend and lower down two three four five six seven eight nine and ten opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right again one changing sides two you're gonna lift and extend it's a little heavy for me but right there where i can begin to build from this weight i mostly do chaturangas as you know for triceps resistance training is great all right opposite side great another another plank so move your hands a little further away from you and take a plank isometric contraction so everything will pull in mula banda the muscles pulling towards the midline really make it count especially Leia is very fit so she's really gonna have to use her mind power here to make this very difficult <laughs> You can make this difficult and by difficult I mean challenging <sighs> great take a break a little bit of a extension one more plank bit of extension as far back as you can and on to all fours again booty one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lift and um, Square your hips here and level your hips so that as you lift here and hold, you get a little bit of a stretch in the hip flexor area. Great, opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're gonna hold. Hold and feel that stretch in the hip flexor. I'll have you grab your ankle, but because that will not be possible with the boot probably, or maybe here, stretch it this way. And let's stretch again on the right side. Now, if you can grab your ankle, do it. Otherwise, do exactly the same thing. And maybe over time, you'll be able to grab your ankle on the boot side. Really feel the hip flexor. Releasing in a juicy way. 
letting go of tension opposite side either hold it this way or grab your ankle and open here the hand is assisting here in the opening Whew, excellent all right circles with the toes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten change sides one two three four five squeeze the body six seven eight nine ten again on the original side one right for me but whichever side two three four five six seven eight nine ten change sides one two three four five squeeze the booty and we're going to lay down onto the belly and open here in cobra elbows in shoulders open keep the elbows slightly bent and elongate the tailbone this again will affect the hip flexors the spine the shoulders great release clasp behind and either lift the shoulders or if you can lift the legs too, lift here and hold until you feel the shoulders the back opening becoming more spacious and close your eyes here and send energy light into the healing area the area that's healing the mind is always involved in healing and regeneration consciously we we can create change to Conscious intention, intention, visualization, prayer. All right, release. One more knee plank. Squeeze in. Great. Now, however you find your way back to your chair, bring your weights nearby, near your chair, and make your way onto your chair. Grab your weights and we're gonna go with shoulder presses. Load the weights and let's go one great control flexing the muscles two three slow down on the way down four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve if you can do a couple more, I, I just have more in me, but you can rest. It depends on your weight, really. All right, take a, take a moment. And we're gonna go for flies. So open here, you can, if your weights are very light, you can extend your arms, mine are not that light. So I'm gonna keep my elbows bent, open, two, Again, slow down, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Right. Whew. Hammer curls. So sit a little forward on the edge of your chair so you don't hit it. And we're gonna go up. Uh, the way it goes uh, up and down instead of uh, parallel to the floor. And you're gonna lift, squeeze, really flex the biceps, slowly release. So we're moving down slowly. The motion down, the negative movement is slow. Two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Take a break. Breathe. Really create free flowing breath. Let's go back to the shoulders, shoulder presses. One, two. Now because my weights are very light for this particular move, I'm just slowing down the movement down and that makes it a little harder, so it counts. I do have super slow classes, a few, um, I think if you, there is at least one free maybe on YouTube and some on my website. And one is in my pregnancy program. One more. Good. <laughs> ah. Preparing for the flies, but take a break. If you do this class two, three times a week during your healing phase, you will stay in relatively uh, good shape. You'll maintain your strength. Let's go. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hammer biceps curls. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We'll do it a third time the whole set. Why not? Since that is where you're gonna put a, a little more effort in, in the upper body and core. Less effort in the legs. That, that way you elevate your um, resting, uh, your heart rate a little bit, so you get a little bit of exercise cardio during this period. Let's go. One, two, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel silly. Ooh, Cause it's getting there. Twelve. That's it. I'm done. Ooh. Shoulder flies. Make sure you're breathing. Your core is engaged. You can use mula bandha. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What you can do on your rest days or on your days when you're not doing this class is dance. Um, city dance at first, obviously, but just something fluid, put music on so that you feel movement in your body. You don't create stagnation just because um, you're taking time off, but moving with the music, it will, it will speed up your healing process. All right, bice, 
biceps curls or hammer curls. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm almost there, eight. That's it, I'm done. Whew. And let's stretch the back. Now, we can do the back, but use your uh, judgment here if you can do it or not. I hesitate to do it, but we can do back flies. You have to lean forward and see if it's comfortable for you. If it's not, skip it. One, two, three, straight back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Step your feet a little wider apart. And we're gonna really here, you're gonna use your mind. If you're a beginner, this is gonna be challenging, but if you're advanced, you can make it challenging. So you're really gonna focus on how connected you're with your core. But we're going to lift, and if it hurts to lift your leg or if it's uncomfortable, you're just going to crunch and crunch. So let's go. One, two. I feel it. I'm happy with how powerful this move is. Four, five, focus. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax the belly. Take a break, take a moment, and we'll do two more sets. We're gonna keep the, the belly strong. Let's go. Really focus isometric uh, holds. So here is not fully isometric because you are doing a movement that is a correlated movement, but because it's somewhat mild, you're really gonna flex, contract, feel your core, activate it, feel it. One, two, four, eight, nine, <laughs> I feel it. it just really flex as hard as you can so flexing for the beginner that doesn't mean you're pulling your belly in and sucking it in and all of that no it means you isolate you find the muscles and you contract them you flex them the way you flex a muscle let's go last set pull the belly up in towards the midline you're zipping yourself in that's if you say i have a corset made out of your muscles you want to zip it in zip we did it a lot in the core awakening program you're gonna let's actually do this before we go grab your grab your muscles what's wrapping your body and feel it zipping pull pull the muscles in towards the midline lift through Mula Bandha, the lower belly up, and you feel this zipping action. Everything is activated. You don't need a corset. The corset is already built in into the, <laughs> into the structure. You, <laughs> this came with the corset. So let's go. One, two, three, five. I really feel it. All right, face the front or of your mat, let's say, or, or just face forward with one leg and take your other leg back into high lunge. So you're gonna adjust with your hands here so that you can really get deep into, let's say that her hip flexors are starting to get um, tight. So that's why I'm bringing in another hip flexor and just you can reach here if it's comfortable, but if this is your question, foot in question, just hold on to your chair and focus on elongating the tailbone and feeling good, juicy stretching here. You can always use the chair 
and the back of the chair. Hold it. Excellent. You can do this throughout the day too. Now you're warmed up, a little more warmed up, so. You can adjust here your stance. You can reach with the hand of the leg, that's the side of the hand. So here, right leg forward. Left behind and reach with the left arm up. Let's do it again. I don't have enough room here. So I have to keep moving my chair. All right. So that you can have enough room between the chair and the leg to really open the hip flexor. This is stretching a little bit of the inner thigh. Sauce. And change. I feel good circulation through my body moving. So I hope you do too. The goal is to really get the flow, the blood flow, the energy flow, the chi, the prana. All right, time for the hips. Again, adjust if you must adjust here and something doesn't feel comfortable. You can only stretch one side and rest for a while on the other, but we're gonna stretch the hips, right ankle over the left knee, straight back, breathe into the hip, Releasing tension with the breath. Change. All right, step your feet apart. Sit onto the edge of the chair. Clasp behind, open. You can keep your heels wherever. And you're going to lean forward. A little bit of a back, uh, uh, forward bend here. You can release the hands whenever you decide to need to. And I'll do a little bit of a forward bend here. Good, and press your right hand the way we do in plie. Look over the left shoulder, opposite side. <sighs> Sit down, forward fold. Full spinal stretch, legs a little wider than hip width apart. You're going to bring your hands all the way to the right and behind you and lift the left hip off the floor. Heels remain on the floor, forehead down towards the floor. Change. bend the knees we're going to 
lean back now here you could sit on something elevated just like a, something like a blanket uh, so that you keep your um, lower back alignment and we're going to really flex pull everything in and side to side one two ten <sighs> lay down Pull the belly in, little bit of a pelvic tilt, and we're going to pulse forward here. One, great. If you can, cross your legs above you. If it's not comfortable, stay in the previous position, which is feet on the ground. And here we're gonna reach up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna add a little bit of a move to it. Lift uh, uh, our um, tailbone, lifting off the floor as we reach forward, really flexing everything in here. Ten. Take a break. And again. Take a break and we'll do one more. Ten reps. Now tip is you can do a lot of the class endings. They're typically all on the ground. You can do them <clears throat> supine twist. You can do a lot of my class endings because they don't involve feet once we're on the ground. For the most part, some of them have bridge so you do extra crunches. Spine twist on the other side. Side crunch. Opposite side. <sighs> Extend the legs, lay down. <sighs> Let's do a back bend here. Elbows down, top of the head on the ground. Pop the chest up open, big. And you can press your chin forward too. To stretch the the jaws <laughs> and lay down relax begin to bring your awareness to the third eye and begin to shift the gaze inward towards the inner self the inner workings of the mind, of the psyche, the inner world. And as you gaze inward and travel inward, travel within the planes of your 
head and brain metaphorically or, or the real brain or the metaphoric symbolic brain and find the inner sun within a place where there is a microcosm of the macrocosm and an inner sun illuminating from within, connecting to God divine, to the divine, to source, from within, from that inner connection. And feel that sun radiating light outward throughout your entire body and even beaming outside of you, illuminating the world as well and the life of your uh, family and friends and circle, but also illuminating your body, your physical body as well, your mind, your conditional even, or your earthly, physical, um, human mind. Also that sun is illuminating your emotions, bringing light, rainbow, speckled light, light with all the spectrum of color in it and feel that light also traveling down to your foot, to your ankle and bringing healing frequencies there. Everything regenerating, repairing. See it, feel the regeneration process, the repairing process, the healing frequency, healing light. And give thanks, gratitude for the things you have in life and even for the injury as it always everything is always there to teach us something to contribute something it's sometimes a blessing in disguise but there's always something in everything and gratitude really elevates our frequency and shifts us shifts our timeline where we um, reside mentally it shifts our physical life, our circumstances, and puts us in a healing frequency. So really, really focus on gratitude. Take a few deep, fluid, flowy breaths in and feel your body filling with not just air, but prana, light. Stay here for a few more moments, allowing yourself to really absorb that, the moment and that frequency, that energy of healing. And remember to flow with strength and ease. Namaste.